What is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys been gone for a little while me and my wife We're celebrating our second anniversary, you know, it's coming up tomorrow on the 23rd of February But we decided to celebrate early because bad weather and stuff like that But now we back I'm back with some more video. We got 11 surprising facts about Sweden Hey, we finna check this out. I appreciate y'all for sending me these recommendations Y'all keep them coming keep them coming and I'll keep the videos coming Let's check this out. Hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. Let's check it out. Let's see. Okay. During our time here on FTD Facts, we've learned a lot about many different cultures and people from all around the world. Countries that have had great and beautiful vast landscapes and people that are always working for the greater cause. And one country that represents oh, this is doing? Sweden. So how's it going guys? My name is Dave Wapple and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we teach you guys everything about everything. Now today we are looking at one of the most interesting countries and one of my most favorite countries and that is Sweden. And I don't like it just for its beautiful woman but I like it for so many other <laughs> facts as well so for those okay. who are joining us for the FTD first time fact. this is a channel where we like to get into the comment section and really take recommendations from you guys so feel free to leave a suggestion for future FTD facts okay. video and we're gonna look into it and actually because of that so many of you guys wanted us to do facts on this country people like Resolute Michael Gregory Moose Guard and of course many more of you guys and nice, we got to thank nice. you all for recommending it now with that in mind considering we're talking about the beautiful country country of Sweden, let me ask you this, which country is the most beautiful people? If you guys say Canada, I'm just going to be, whew, so honored. <laughs> hey, this is, hey, I, somebody, I forgot who recommended it to me. They actually had a couple videos that were like facts about Sweden. I think they might have had like three or four parts. This is the first one. It was like four years ago. So they got updated ones. So I'm going to check those out as well. But this is going to be interesting to see. Is the most beautiful ago, people. Facts. If you guys say Canada, I'm just going to be whew, so honored. Just, uh, <laughs> come on. Really? Now, Sweden is a country that has an area of 450,295 square kilometers. And as of 2016, it has a population of over 9,995,400 people. And it is okay. estimated that it is already at 10 million, which makes it the 89th that most populous country in the world with a density of 23.1 people per square kilometer. And of course, before we get into the cool achievements of this country, we gotta talk about Sweden's imports and exports. For example, according to the OEC, it has $159 billion in exports and $154 billion in imports. But Sweden is known for exporting machinery and electrical equipment, which makes up a majority of the exports, coming in at $44.8 billion. This is stuff like telephones, forklifts, you name it, they got it. But refined petroleum makes up on its own 6.9%, and its imports, well, the machinery also makes up 402 with crude petroleum coming in at 7.2%. Now, when we hear of Sweden, we like to probably say, yo, these people speak Swedish. Now, this <laughs> northern Germanic language is a descendant of Old Norse language, but the crazy part is this wasn't an official language until the country recognized it on July 1st, 2009. But oh, besides wow. this language, Sweden also has some really cool traditions. Wow, I didn't know they just recognized it just a couple, like, what, 10, 12 years ago? Sure, we here we in. Yeah, about 12, 13 years ago. That's but besides crazy. its language, Sweden 13. also has some really cool traditions, especially during Christmas. For example, oh, since 1966, the town of Yavla has always put up a oh, giant yeah. straw goat. And unfortunately, every single year, this straw goat is always burnt down, and it's kind of a non-acceptable tradition. But funny part is, although they keep an eye out for vandals, if the giant goat is burned down before December 13th, it is rebuilt for the holidays. Mm. Now, have you ever heard of the Ericsson Globe. It is a cool structure located wow, in Stockholm. Originally, it was called the. I don't think I've seen that in the other video. The Ericsson Globe. It is a cool Dang, structure located cool. in Stockholm. Originally, it was called the Stockholm Arena, and it is the large spherical building in the entire world. It wow. has a diameter of 110 meters by 85 meters tall, and can hold up to 16,000 people for spectacles and games. Dang. But that is really not the only thing that makes the Ericsson Globe really important. This is probably 
probably one of my favorite facts of all of Sweden that I've heard of so far, and the fact is that yeah. the Ericsson globe represents the sun. And I never knew this, that Sweden is home to the largest scale model of the solar system in the entire world. Throughout the wow. entire country, the solar system is represented. For example, you have Mercury being the Stockholm City Museum, Earth is represented for Cosmonova Rick's Muset in Stockholm, and as for Pluto, it's located all the way out in the Dellen Lakes in Delsbo. Mm. It's crazy. The model of the solar system takes up the entire country of Sweden. It's so cool. That is and because dope. of that, Sweden takes great pride in its country, and because of that, it takes great care of its ecosystems and life. And to prove that, the country has 15 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, with one still Ooh. on the consideration list. But one of the most interesting ones is the Strobe Geodic Arc, which Sweden shares with many other European countries like Germany and Belarus. Now this arc was inscribed in 2005, and the interesting thing about it, it was built in 1816 to 1855, and it was a series of chain triangulations going over 2,250 kilometers. And this was in order for scientist Frederick George Wilhelm von Struve to get an exact reading of how large the Earth actually was. Dang. Of course, when we talk about Sweden, we cannot forget about the famous Ice Hotel. Ice That's hotel what I want to. I ain't gonna. This is what I want to see. A ice hotel? That's crazy. Talking about Sweden, we cannot forget about the famous ice hotel. Wow. A hotel that is completely made of ice, even right down to the cups that you drink out of. It was wow. first constructed in 1990, and every year it's always been rebuilt when it gets cold. And the ice from the structure comes from the Torn River, and all the ice makes the structure over 64,600 square feet. I've always wanted to go there, but I think it's really expensive. Of course, <laughs> Hey, y'all gotta let me know if in the comments if y'all been to this. And I don't do the co I just want to go see it. I, if it, if it's a hotel, you have to stay there. I'm definitely not sleeping on an icicle bed. It's already be cold at my house and all. When y'all see, sometimes y'all might see my hood on and my headphones on. It be cold. I don't do the cold. I will go see this though. I wouldn't mind going to see this. This is interesting. Right feet. Here. I've always wanted to go there, but I think it's really expensive. It probably of is. Of course, probably one is. other fascinating thing about Sweden is that it hasn't participated in any wars in the last 200 years. Mm. This all happened after the Napoleonic Wars, which at the time Sweden had many conflicts with Russia. But the signing of the policy of 1812 was the beginning of its peace. However, the funny part is, is after the Cold War, Sweden has dropped its principle of neutrality, and although it's not mandatory among its people, to this day they still continue to lower its military might. But when it comes to the history of Sweden, its people have a great story. And one of the most famous stories is it is the first country to have a woman win a Nobel Prize for literature. This was Selma Lagerlöf, who was a teacher and writer. And not only was she the first yeah, woman nice. to win for literature, she was the third woman to win a Nobel Prize in history. And let's not forget that since 1901, the country is the country that gives out the Nobel Peace Prizes each year in Stockholm, Sweden. But that's it, guys. Once again, we've learned a lot about a new country and its people. My name's Dave Wapple, and it's been a pleasure talking about Sweden. But before we get out of here, guys, we Ooh. want you guys to leave a comment down there for future FTD Facts videos. And, of course, check out our other videos. But more importantly, check out our trailer for our new series called Speak Easy, which is a narrative mini-series about rum runners and bootleggers before Al Capone Man. ever became big. But thanks for watching, guys. Sweden is one of my favorite countries. And we have just scratched the surface on this great country, mm. a country that has led great contribution to the world and its development, a modernized country with a heavy history and culture Dating hey, thousands of years ago, hockey. this is Sweden, a beautiful hockey. country, a beautiful place where its people know that peace and wisdom are true strength. Nice, nice. That's the great thing I love learning about these different countries, the history, the different things that I just never... That, that, ice, hotel, that, that ice hotel definitely got I got to experience that in my lifetime. I just want to go look, you know what I'm saying? Maybe touch the ice a little, make sure to see, you know what I'm saying? But, guys, like he said, we scratched the surface. I like I like this. We gave some pretty decent facts on here. So, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Let me know. Uh, especially, let me know if you've been to that ice hotel or how expensive, expensive it is. Because that's different. That's different, but... Definitely going to check out more. Like I said, I think it's four, maybe five parts about uh, facts about Sweden. So 
Hey, definitely a beautiful country. But guys, that's all I have. I had to come back, do a video for you guys. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send down those recommendations. And hey, y'all be blessed, be the best, and be you. I'm out.